Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can copy from Serena Williams' forehand. Now, this footage is courtesy of Tennis Academy 101 on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. All right, first, what I absolutely love about Serena's forehand is how simple it is. And if you've come here looking for more dependability, control, consistency, accuracy, whatever you want to call it, on your forehand, this is the forehand technique I want you to copy. First thing, there's three basic ideas we're going to talk about. The first thing is the take back. I want you to notice how she's taking the racket back. This is what I call uh, two high fives, right? Like you're giving someone two high fives. So here's a person, right? Do, 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 and two high fives. So uh, let's make them smiling because they're giving a high five to Serena. So they're all happy. So that's what you want. You want to turn like you're giving someone two high fives. That turn begins the C swing, right? The, the high, low, high. You can see her racket. It's high, it's low, it's high again. So you want to take the racket back high at the beginning because then later on you get gravity assisted racket speed and it just helps the swing shape fit the, the shape of, of the court. And it just helps your consistency right then and there. So don't take the racket down low, take the racket up and do it with both hands. You might even feel like the back of your front shoulder is visible to the opponent. Again, this is all about coiling. When we coil, and we turn away from our target, we can then uncoil later on in the swing. So take the racket back high with both hands. The second idea, two things I want you to focus on. You can see the racket dropping, right? So as the racket's dropping, she's getting gravity-assisted racket speed, makes it so that it's very easy for her. It's like an effortless amount of racket speed. It's awesome. Two things I want you to notice. First, her non-hitting hand. Her non-hitting hand is clearing out of the way. So as the racket drops, she's moving her non-hitting hand out of the way. By that clearing of her non-hitting hand, it's going to make it very easy for her hips to turn. But the second idea is I want you to notice Serena's racket as it drops. Notice she tilts the strings down. You want your strings down on a topspin forehand tr prior to hitting the ball because when your racket closes prior to hitting, then your strings will face forward when you hit. If you're someone who really struggles with the racket face being up when you hit the ball or down, like you hit the ball long all the time, and then or when you, when you don't hit the long, it just goes in the net all the time, and you're struggling getting your strings to face forward, which is what you want, what Serena's doing here, the fix to that is to close the face. So go out and film yourself. Most Recreational players who struggle hitting topspin have their racket on its edge where you could like balance a coin on the edge of the racket where the strings are facing directly off to the side. Her racket is tilted closed around 45 degrees. And when your strings are closed like that, makes it very easy when you swing up. Remember, the racket drops below contact. It's making it very easy for her when she swings up to get her strings to face forward at contact. Now, and, and by the way, that's how you get topspin. You get topspin by closing the racket face and then swinging up as you strike the ball. Now, here's the last basic idea I want you to uh, understand. It's, it's her finish, like what she's doing during and after contact. First, let's look at her left hand. So there's something really important that I try to get all of my students to do while they are striking the ball. And you watch... Uh, Tommy Haas hit a forehand. He does this. You watch Pete Sampras hit a forehand. Agassi. You look at um, uh, Victoria Azarenka. You look at Dominic Team. Watch their non-hitting hand as they hit the ball. Their non-hitting hand rises. You want your non-hitting hand to rise because when you do that, it becomes very easy to turn your hips. You see a lot of recreational players who don't turn their hips, it's because their non-hitting hand drops. And when your non-hitting hand drops, it becomes a counterweight and it becomes nearly impossible to turn the hips. And the player, if you've ever seen someone hug themselves on their forehand, or if you hug yourself on your forehand, you almost feel like you're in a straitjacket when you're done. It's because the non-hitting hand is dropping. You want the non-hitting hand to rise as you're hitting the ball. It makes turning the hips very, very easy. But the second thing it does is it ensures that you're swinging up. I just gave a lesson today, a Zoom lesson to a guy in England, and he is doing something so common. He's swinging across his body, and I, want, I wanted him to swing up. The easiest way to start swinging up is to get your non-hitting hand to rise as you hit, because when your non-hitting hand rises, just anatomically, our hands like to go toward each other, and if your non-hitting hand is down, you're going to swing across and get a ton of side spin, the ball's going to float long like a frisbee, you're going to dump the ball in the net, so to swing up, up over the shoulder, the way you see Sampras and Agassi and Dominic Team and, and, and here's Serena, Venus, when you see them swinging up into that non-hitting hand, it becomes very easy for Am 
amateurs to copy this when their non-hitting hand is rising. So catch the racket in your non-hitting hand up over your opposite shoulder. You can see her head. She's still looking down, chin and shoulder touching. Absolutely love this. Let's look at the next one. Same thing. She's taking the racket back. So she's got the two high fives. She's dropping the racket down. You can see her non-hitting hand clearing out of the way as her racket drops below contact. You can see her racket is closed at this point, makes it so that her strings face forward when she hits the ball. And look at her non-hitting hand. Her non-hitting hand is rising as she's hitting the ball. And then look where she finishes in her left hand up over her shoulder. So please go out and film yourself. See if you can copy these three simple ideas. Take the racket back, two high fives, drop the racket as you clear the non-hitting hand and close the face lower than contact and swing low to high as the non-hitting hand rises as you hit, catching the racket up high over the opposite shoulder. You copy these ideas and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.